Hello and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada with ServiceNow Knowledge 18 Conference. Today we're with uh, Kirsty McGowan Hi, as my co-host and Janet from ServiceFlow. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Thanks for having me. So Janet, you know, we've, uh, we've spoken to, to folks from, from ServiceFlow before, but a lot of people you know, maybe not familiar with them. Um, we know that organizations are having, they always struggle with the integration of yes. different technologies, different tools, getting that data and information across. That's basically where you guys play. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you know, the solutions you guys provide and some of the challenges that you help you know, these organizations um, overcome? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think the, uh, as, as you said, we are providing this uh, cloud-based service mm -hmm. to integrate the tools. Uh, yeah. And uh, we are tool agnostic, so in a way, uh, we can do integrations between more or less any any tool. Right. But uh, um, I think uh, one of the biggest hurdles that we have had in in the past is that uh, the uh, integrations itself are, are considered as a kind of like a technology solution. Sure. So, so there's a uh, APIs and REST and SOAPs yep. and you know yeah, yeah, all, yeah. all this cool stuff. Yeah. Not. <laughs> all the real tech <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so in a way, you gotta get lost into the technology. Sure. So, mean, it means that the, once you start to have uh, infrastructure which has more than two endpoints that you need to integrate with, then it comes kind of like the spaghetti of, of things that the, another expert says this, another ex expert yeah. says that, and, and you kind of like end up in a mess where you, nobody mm -hmm. really knows what's going on. Sure. So, that's kind of like the thing that we have. Uh, Initiated to, to mm -hmm. start solving with our solution. Yeah. Nice. So, so, what's the sorry, Kat, no, what's, ahead, the, what's, what's the most difficult thing you come across when you try to do that? What's where do the real pain points happen for customers when you're trying to integrate everything? Well, of course, uh, there are kind of a variety, uh, variety of, of, mm. of technologies that mm -hmm. you need to be a, able to adapt. Sure. And uh, I would say, of course, um, we've tried to build our solution so that. There's no actually hard parts, yep. but of course there is always. <laughs> yep. And uh, usually, I, I would say that the the trickiest thing around these technologies is that uh, uh, it's not uh, common that the technologies work as they yep. have been designed. 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 <laughs> or, yeah. Or, or, no or, way. Or, really? yeah. 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 So, so in a way, if you have a documentation that describes how it should operate, actually. It doesn't. No. <laughs> so but in a way, well, it's, it's it, accurate. It's yeah. how it should operate. Yeah. It's not how it actually yeah. operates. Yeah. Right. And so, so in a way, one of the things that we are bringing in in our service is that uh, we are actually trialing and erroring the things for our customers. Mm -hmm. So in a way, we bring the digested thing to there for for, mm -hmm. for them to utilize. So yeah, right. so in a way, I would say that that's one of the biggest benefits of, of, yeah. of our solution. Do you? Um, is obviously one of the things that you know in any integration and data transfer between systems is uh, is always you know the quality and yeah. the completeness so do you, do you guys play in that space too much in terms of uh, helping with that quality or at, at minimum I would think at least um, demonstrating that they have quality issues uh, yes I would say that that's that's one of the major things to solve as well right. and uh, how we have taken this uh, approaches that we actually how we do in our services that uh, Instead of doing point to points with uh, like creating the spaghetti of, of, of mm -hmm. different routes and stuff, uh, we isolate these technologies from okay. each other. So it means that uh, uh, if some tool or endpoint is requiring certain fixed things, mm -hmm. we can do that fixed in our system. So in a way, even though the, the source system is not able to comply with the, with the rules of the target, mm -hmm. we can in the middle do the do the kind of like validation. So yeah. so in a way. So you can translate from one system. Yes, and, and, and we can kind of like pre-configure mm -hmm. the communication towards right. the other mm -hmm. side, so that it matches the criteria of, of, of that system. So mm -hmm. so there's a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah. How many? Um, I mean, because obviously there's you know hundreds if not thousands of different technologies and tools yeah. out there. Do you have? You know, if I'm a customer and I'm coming in, or I'm a potential customer coming in, do you have sort of the the, um, the base ones that you know you've done a hundred times, a thousand times, that have the predefined connectors and, and all that? Yes. So how how quickly can can someone 
get up to speed with with you guys, assuming that they don't have this, yep. you know, seventeen year old, <laughs> you know, MS Access database that they're trying no to one connect. Has those to yeah, no, 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 okay. no. A couple of spreadsheets, of course, they <laughs> and, and all the spreadsheets are gone, so yeah, you don't yeah, have to worry yeah, about yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, um, glad that you mentioned it because that's kind of like the thing that we are bringing. So we have a, we have a service that you subscribe to. Mm -hmm. So in a way, when you subscribe to uh, all these kind of like pre configured templates is uh, mm -hmm. uh, they are well available, uh, available for you. Let's say you are you are wanting to create integration between uh, ServiceNow and Jira. That's mm -hmm. a typical yep. case. Yeah, very so in a way, there's a button in our in our tool Gosh. saying that uh, please create a template rule set for for me for this particular use case. Right. So it kind of like a mm -hmm. there's a lot of like little tiny tricky yeah. things to sort yes. out to sure. have the robust integration, yep. and they are all there for you. So it depends on your internet connection, whether that's second or five. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting you mentioned Jira because that, you know, that's one of the things that, um, you know, that I've been seeing a lot more is you know, in, that, in that automation space and, and with the DevOps, obviously, yeah. trying to get a better and more reliable cadence yeah. through the, the whole flow. Um, you know, so it sounds like, do you, do you guys, um, I mean, I know you help them, but how do you work in terms of demonstrating the value? Because if you can get that connection going mm -hmm. and it's smoother, the, ba the whole operational side can operate much more efficiently, yeah. a lot more effectively. Yeah. You know, so do you guys get lost a little bit in the in the value stream there? Because you're providing that capability, but it, do it doesn't show up on you, yeah. and you yeah. know it's there in the people that work directly. Yeah. Yeah, that nice little <laughs> invisible piece. Yeah, of that's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's actually a really good question, mm -hmm. and we've been kind of like a trying to address it with this kind of like a, uh, usually the, the folks who have tried to create the integration between yeah. ServiceNow and Jira mm -hmm. with their bare hands or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> or some, yes. some, some other platform, they know that the drill. Yeah. They kind of like, oh, really? It's not as easy as you think is, it's going to be. Is it done yeah. already? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it does this? Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Right. So, so in a way, then it's easy. But mm -hmm. uh, if you kind of like take a customer mm -hmm. which is yes. uh, who is doing it for the first time, yes. right. It's exactly like mm. you said that the value is kind of like not shown, yeah. right. but uh, usually we we build tools and, and, and ways to kind of like report mm. and, and, and and kind mm. of like make visible the actual thing that we do in the right. middle. So that, that's mm. we're trying to address it, but that, it, it is a problem yeah. in, in in certain extent. Yeah. The um, as I said, yeah, I, I see that becoming more and more of a, a play, but just from the flow perspective that we're accelerating, the DevOps piece is really accelerating some of the input into things, yeah. but I don't see the, the service operations and the support side getting you know, that benefit. Um, if you can get that data there, you yeah. know, smoother, faster, I just see a you know, tremendous amount of opportunity for, uh, for a lot of clients to do that. And, yeah. and without the, the legwork, frankly, to, to yeah. do that because those yeah. integrations can be a, a, an absolute yeah. nightmare. Yeah, usually, yeah, sure. usually <coughs> it is is that there, there hasn't been a business case for, right. since you need to invest a lot of time and effort to building it, but usually the hard part is the maintaining it. So in a way, you need to check that okay, now something went wrong. What's wrong? You you, you tend to uh, spend a lot of time around the actual operations yes. of the actual integration, yeah. right. which right. sounds like. A s Silly thing to do in, <laughs> in today's world, but, but it's that, true. But that's yes. what you need to do mm. unless you yeah. outsource it. In yeah. So, <laughs> so the people who are watching this, who are sitting in their offices trying desperately to integrate yeah. this, this to that, they should be calling you. Uh, well, <laughs> feel free. So, <laughs> so usually, we uh, yeah. well, that's a kind of a typical scenario yeah. where mm. where uh, there's a. It's understandable mm. that there's a, like a yep. big architectural uh, decisions of yes. how we do these things and mm -hmm. we will do these, and sure. then this kind of idea comes along that okay, mm. it flips everything. We might yeah. want yeah. to do this. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. there's a like internal struggle of mm. of the stakeholders how how to yes. do this. So we usually say that okay, you can use it meanwhile you build your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but. Uh, it's a little bit of an inside joke, but yeah, no, it's kind of like represent. Yeah, the, yeah the but it, I mean, but it, it gets you on the transition yes. path, yeah, which is yeah. you know, which is at least a start, and then they see the value. So, yeah. Yeah. but um, so you know, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, thanks look forward for to, like I yeah. said, you know, nice I definitely see a, a tremendous amount of value. I mean, with integration, yeah, it's always definitely. the key if you can yeah. speed that up, make it a lot more efficient, and less you know, maintenance yeah, long term. Is, it's a yeah. huge yeah. value. There's so. definitely a lot of people out there wasting a lot of time trying to do yeah. it themselves. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.